Niggas say that he gon' change, but remain the same Time to let him go, gonna cut the chain Yeah, baby, gonna end that shit You need a real one in your life, and he your bullshit what is up YouTube? Today we are back with another video. Today we are going to be doing a relationship one-on-one -on -one advice video. Today we do have my cousin. Hey. Ta -ta. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> so today we're just going to be doing um, I don't know what they call it. Relationship, what we say? Relationship, relationship one-on-one -on -one advice. <laughs> like little whatever. So we just going to throw out some pointers and we just go piggyback off of that. So the for, first point that we're going to go off of is ex-girlfriends and how much is too much. So um, what I can say in regards to how much is too much is I think I would prefer to hear about an ex-girlfriend. It would have to be like every blue moon. Like I'm not trying to hear about her like every week. No, that's I don't want to hear about no ex girlfriend. <laughs> Period, huh? I mean, I Period, should be saying the same thing, but you know, you just try to give a little leeway. You don't want to complain, but sometimes they just take it way too far. Yeah, very true. Vice versa, like uh, a dude wouldn't want to hear about your ex boyfriend exactly. or your previous relationship or what you've done exactly. before within a relationship. Yeah. Okay, so the next one we're going to go off of is how long to wait before you have sex. I think you should. Y'all know what? Have y'all seen, <laughs> seen that Facebook post where <laughs> they mean people they say if you have sex on the first date, it's not considered your whole like that's your interview stage. Right. I would I would say <laughs> this is a deep topic, y'all. I, I would say I would I wouldn't say that the first day I think it would depend on the vibe that you get with person. Depend on the vibe. I don't think the day matters. It depends on the vibe that you get with that person yes. as to determine when y'all should have sexual intercourse. I actually have to agree with that. You know, just going with the flow. I'm not really one to put dates and times on things. You know, you just kind of have to just let it happen. So, okay. So the next one we are going to talk about is hey, when is it time to meet each other's family? Again, I'm not one to put a assignment date on things. Um, you know, I have met um, a guy's family right away. Um, I have rated a year. So it just truly depends, like, on my relationship currently. Okay, so on my current relationship, I will say that, you know, um, just from experience, going with the flow worked out perfectly. Um, so, yeah. One of my ex's moms, I don't know how long it was, but I met his mom. It probably was, what, two, three months into dating. That was like high school, so uh, I'm not going to consider that. Yeah, we're not going to. That, that's play, play. play. So, <laughs> Playing house. Current relationship, then. I'm not going to say nobody's name. Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> when did I beat this boy mama? Girl, I don't even I met his mama, girl. We had when and picked his mama up. Probably like five, six months into talking or dating, and we picked his mom up, but it wasn't like a, a cordial type thing. It was just we picked her up, and I was like, "Hi, my name is so and so," and she was just in the back seat. And I was like, so it wasn't really like a like a mutual meeting type thing. But I just met her again recently, and it was the same thing. We picked her up, dropped her off. There it is, there, folks. <laughs> Okay, so when to move in together. This is actually one of my favorites. Um, you know, what I did different in my current re 
relationship. Again, not saying no names. <laughs> However, we actually moved in, believe it or not. And don't judge, but we actually moved in um, before before actually being in a relationship. Um, that yes, partnership type thing in a way, um, and that worked for us. So again, it just I like how you always say like just kind of the vibe right. and you know going with the flow. Again, I'm not one to put times or dates on things, so that worked for us. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. I would say the vibe, but the vibe will be one I would say, and then also based off of y'all relationship sure, where y'all at within y'all relationship, because you really get to know a person when you live with them. Just like you really get yep. to know a person when you have a baby with them. Exactly. And I actually kind of like that you point out, you know, um, you don't know a person until you live with them. Um, that's actually <laughs> what's really cool. What I think is really cool about, you know, me and my current man is we decided to, again, just take a different approach and we got to really see how we really felt about each other when we moved in to make a decision to want to be with All right, when to have kids? Another touchy, <laughs> another touchy topic. Um, I feel like a lot of these answers, like I'm gonna, you know, go a little deep into them. But again, for me, I don't like putting times or dates on things. Um, I'm currently pregnant with my second baby, and thank you. <laughs> I'm five weeks. <laughs> And we are so excited, you know, um, I'd say that we've been dating only like a few months, but we've known each other a year, and we're happy. So, I would say that babies are a blessing, so God do everything for a reason, so as far as the right time to have a baby, I don't think there's ever a right time. Yeah, I agree with Cause that. Because it, it's just whenever, can you watch out? Yeah. I'm talking right now. All right, exactly. Great. So, All right. I don't think, yeah, I don't think it's so. Um, specific time. I wish you get off my fingers. Um, you want to skip this one? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, what to split and what not to split. So when we state that, we basically mean as far as like bills, um, as far as cooking, when you move it in together, cleaning, putting both your names on the lease. Bank account, split bank account. Yep. So that's what we mean in regards to split and not to split. So how do you feel about that? So how I feel about that is as soon as my man and I moved in together, we began splitting immediately. I feel like once you move in, that's when you should quit. When you move in, that's my answer. Yep. I think before you move in. Oh, okay. Oh, no. Okay. okay. No, you, 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 no, 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 no. You, you, <laughs> but I feel like before you move in, you know, you're right for I, my specific situation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just going off a of background, right? Because you could be put in a situation as far as say, like y'all moving together, you could be put in a situation as to you think that it's gonna be you both handling everything together, and then that's not gonna turn out to be. But then, still, yet again, you're never supposed to put yourself in a predicament that you can't get yourself out of if you're going to as split. You yep. always just like if you get an apartment with somebody. Yep. Never get an apartment with somebody and you can't pay the rent on your own. Okay. You can't pay the rent on your own if y'all was something was to happen. Right. Yeah, absolutely. So absolutely that that would be my answer for that. Yeah. Alright. So the next one is going to be being truthful within your relationship. Beautiful topic. Let me explain why. You want to be truthful from the jump. As soon as y'all meet, let it flow. From day one, communication. Yep. Yeah. Being truthful is yeah, it's like a, a big thing. Get the fuck Tell the off truth about TV. everything. Everything. Even if you feel like it's gonna hurt your partner, I feel like you should be honest. Yeah. Very absolutely. Because it'll get you a long way. Yeah. Because at that point, you're giving a choice. Right. You're giving each other a choice if y'all want to move forward after the information that has been presented. Right. So that pretty much sums that one up. All right. So the next one is basically working together. I did meet <laughs> from experience. I, I did meet um, my current partner at work. And again, it 
worked for us. Although I don't recommend it because, you know, sometimes women, yeah, it can get messy. You know, women are messy. I'm sorry, y'all. You know, I know I might get a lot of backlash for that, but it is true, you know. Um, that's just what it is. Um, I personally, working together, I don't think I've talked to anybody that I work with, messing around with anybody that I work with since my first job. So my first job, I had that experiment. And then I left it over there. I ain't did it ever since then. I don't see anything wrong with it because I know it will work out for some people. But some people, that's just not. That ain't for me. That's just not. I can be, I already see you when I go home. So I only see you when I go to work too. You, know, you need a break. Which is, which, yeah, that's true. You need a break. See you 24-7. You know what I mean? That's yeah. too, too much. So, that would be the answers for well, working together. Um, the next topic we have is financial support. Huge, 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 huge. Y'all, and with, with these responses and with these answers, if y'all feel a certain type of way, if y'all feel like what we said isn't what you would really go with, just comment down below as to what you feel or what you will put yourself in or the predicament that you, you would think you would put yourself in. Or if that makes sense. Yeah. So financial support, that's basically that goes back to splitting stuff. Yeah. Who, who, and it's not even about who's gonna pay who, it's just about I think it's 50-50. Yeah. 50-50. Or even I look at it like my favorite saying is whatever I do for you, can you do for me? Can we have each one. other's back? That's a real good one. If I'm down, can you help pick me up? Yeah. Straight to the point. Right. <laughs> hey, you got me or not. <laughs> okay, so our final one is going to be how to run your household. That basically is just going to be in regards to... I'm very old school. So for me, for example, I cook, I clean. I mean, of course, I help pay bills as well. But, Take you know, from experience, my partner and I, he actually takes out the trash. Um, he pays, he chooses to pay most of the bills, you right. know, TMI, but I mean, that's just how we decide to do things. So washing dishes, yep. washing clothes, yep. doing laundry, Ow. cleaning up, just all sorts of things like that. I think, hey. old school, like you said, you know, the Dad, women are supposed to, you know, take care of the yeah. home financially support but I think it could be a 50-50 thing with that as well yeah absolutely you know what I mean especially like you know predict when you're pregnant mm -hmm. you can be tired like oh I don't want to cook for you. <laughs> right <laughs> baby can you cook for me yeah or you know I agree. do the laundry yeah you know. take over my responsibilities or I'd be willing to you know like take over some of my man's responsibilities right. taking out the trash yeah what well, depend on how close the trash can is to Child. Okay, y'all. So that is going to be the end of the one-on-one -on -one relationship advice for you guys. Once again, comment down below what you guys think about this video, these topics that we gave, any opinions that you guys might have. Leave them down in the comment section below. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed, and follow all social medias as well as. Thank you for having me. Bye.